For more than a year and a half, a war has flared up in northern Burma, even as the government has talked of peace and new beginnings. Ethnic Kachin fighters have been battling and losing ground to a more powerful Burmese army. The war has driven tens of thousands of Kachin people from their villages. They're now pressed up against the Chinese border, sheltering in camps like this one inside the shrinking pockets of Kachin-held territory. The only help they're getting is from their own community or from foreign donations smuggled in. Everyone pitches in to help, even mothers with infants like Jangma Kamai. She's been here for more than a year with her husband and four children, living three families to a hut. The Burmese army fired shells right into our village. We ran for our lives. There were four or five people on each motorbike. We left everything behind, even our clothes. The fighting is very close now, and fierce. Kitchen soldiers are putting up tenacious resistance on the last high point they hold outside Liza. The trench I'm standing in now is just two or three kilometers from the Kachin headquarters in Liza. And those hills you can see behind me have been captured by the Burmese military in just the last few days, and they're still firing their mortars quite close to us. Liza is almost completely surrounded. There's very little to stop the Burmese from taking it. That's put pressure on the Kachin leadership to sue for peace, but they still don't trust the Burmese government. The government offered us peace talks a few days ago. We don't refuse that, but with thousands of Burmese troops attacking us with artillery and airstrike, it's not possible to have peace talks now. We need political negotiations on our status inside Burma. Hundreds of lives have been lost on both sides. I watched them as they buried 20-year-old Marit Branglat, hit by a grenade while defending the hill. Fresh graves are filling up Liza's cemetery. In the evening, exhausted soldiers are delivered back from the front lines. The strain of fighting these one-sided battles is written in their faces. They fired artillery at us all day long, said this captain. A lot of our guys were killed. Those civilians who have not yet fled march for peace at night and the guns are silent. But who's listening? The Kachin won't give up their long quest for autonomy and nationhood. The Burmese army believes it's on the brink of victory. Jonathan Head, BBC News, Kachin State, Burma.